When she mentioned how her aunt bit off the spoon, she completely done me in. And my heart went on a journey to the moon when she told about her father and the gin. And I never saw more enchanting farce than the moment when she shouted, Move your blooming eyes! Yes, sir? <laughs> Is Miss Doolittle at home? Who may I ask calling? Freddy Einsford Hill. If she doesn't remember me, tell her I'm the chap who is sniggering at her. Yes, sir. And would you give her these? Yes, sir. You needn't rush. I want to drink in this street where she lives. Yes, sir. I have often walked down the street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I several stories high, knowing I'm on the street where you live. Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Can you hear a lock in any other part of town? Does enchantment pour out of every door? No, it's just on the street where you live. And know oh, that towering feeling, just to know somehow you are near. The overpowering feeling that any second you may suddenly appear. People stop and stare, they don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by, I won't care if I can be here on the street where. Mr. Einsford Hill. Yes. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Miss Doolittle says she doesn't want to see anyone ever again. Oh, but why? She was magnificent. Magnificent? Do you have the right address, sir? Of course. Tell her I'll wait. But it might be days, <laughs> weeks. But don't you see? I'll be happier here. People stop and stare. They don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. I won't care if I can be here on the street where.